Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a significant strategic departure, Iran executed a meticulously planned drone and missile attack on Israeli territory, signaling a shift in its military approach. The assault, reminiscent of tactics employed by Russia in conflicts such as Ukraine, underscored Iran's adoption of sophisticated strategies influenced by its collaborative engagements with Russia. Citing information from the Institute for the Study of War, the attack on April 13, 2024, utilized a combination of ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and drones, mirroring Russia's efforts to penetrate Western air and missile defenses. The operation, dubbed True Promise, was orchestrated by the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps, IRGC, Aerospace Force and marked a significant escalation as the first direct attack on Israeli territory launched from Iranian soil. Utilizing launch sites across Kermanshah and Hormuzgan provinces, Iran dispatched hundreds of drones, including the highly effective Shahid-136 models, renowned for their one-way attack capabilities. Israeli Defense Forces, IDF, confirmed the severity of the assault, reporting over 200 drones alongside numerous crews and ballistic missiles. In response, the United States, United Kingdom, Israel, and Jordan collaborated to intercept the threats outside Israeli airspace between 1700 and 1800 ET, prompting the closure of airspace over Iran, Israel, Jordan, Iraq, and Lebanon, as indicated by flight radar data. Iran's tactical use of drones and missiles transcends immediate military objectives, reflecting a broader strategy of refining and adapting tactics in various conflict theaters. The IRGC's collaboration with Houthi forces in the Red Sea, for instance, provides valuable insights into overcoming modern air and maritime defense systems. Moreover, Iran's permanent mission to the United Nations attributed the operation to an April 1, 2024, Israeli airstrike targeting IRGC officials in Damascus, marking the culmination of the attack at 1800 ET on the day of execution. Simultaneously, members of the Axis of Resistance coordinated attacks, with Lebanese Hezbollah launching Katyusha rockets at an Israeli base in the Golan Heights. The Houthis and Iranian-backed Iraqi militia Falak al-Wad al-Sadiq also expressed solidarity, indicating wider regional implications. As the situation unfolds, the Israeli war cabinet convened urgently in Tel Aviv to address ongoing threats and strategize defensive measures. The international community closely monitors developments, recognizing the profound implications for regional stability and the potential for further escalation. Iran's bold maneuver underscores the evolving dynamics of conflict in the Middle East, highlighting the intersection of geopolitical alliances and technological advancements in modern warfare. As tensions persist, diplomatic efforts and proactive defense strategies become imperative to mitigate the risk of wider confrontation and uphold regional stability. That's all for now, see you later.